We need to be very careful, Pavati. They're getting dangerous. And you're getting unhelpful, to be frank. So please... Uh, give me some experience points so I can make you stronger. Because <laughs> that's how this works. That's how this works. We've thoroughly looped... Hello. Back around to the front room. Right? Is this where I came in? Where did I come in? No, that was the computer, right? Hack for two seconds. Spacer's Choice. Encode first aid key card. Okay. Oh, hack 20. Oh, it's great. It's not great out because I've already used it. It's great out because I can't do it. I have to be a good, super cool hack boy. A Spacer's Choice property. Emerald Vale Community Center. History of Emerald Vale exhibit. Synopsis. The history of Emerald Vale, once complete, will display the proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come. Decoding the main hall of our noble community center, this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of the settlement's founding will embody the hardworking spirit of our spacer family. The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be a taxidermized manta queen erected with our main lobby as a sign of a civilization's victory over nature itself. Director Plinkett. Well, they're proud of themselves. I need a hack of 25. Where am I on hacking? 24! <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll get a level while I'm here. That'll be nice. It's just so frustratingly on the margin. Bard. Hello, sir. It would be a shame. Gone quiet. If somebody were to sneak up on you and blow your stupid head off. Nice wow. They can they make them durable in hard mode. Holy shit. I meant to hit reload, shit. <laughs> Not heal. Owie! Die! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Y'all enjoying the tension? That was some bad mistakes on my part though. I meant to hit reload and I, hit, and I healed on accident and I was just... I don't know. I gotta build some combat-oriented muscle memory because I'm straight up pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, that was, that was the first aid key. Oh. Isn't that what I need to get into a place? That I can get via hacking? But now I can get via skills. Huh. Manta birds? Canid, Beta Lupus Familiaris. Canids can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties, domesticated and feral. Feral canids hunt in packs, while domesticated canids can be loyal companions. It is important to remember that the canid is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. Hey, buddy. But that, that just means we need to start, into, uh, we just need to get to work on, uh, domesticating them. <laughs> I want a lizard cat dog. I mean lizard bird dog. Those those rear teeth are huge by the way, like giant grindy looking chunks. What are you hiding from me? Coming soon, the Manta Queen, Varanis Toxo de Derede. Feed your eyes on the great frilled manta queen, sovereign of her nest. Import from the wilds of Terra One to, thr trill to thrill and excite your imagination. Is she in here? No, it's just a enclosure. There's like some coral looking rocks and some stuff. So it's not in there. Can't even sneak a peek at it. 
I blew that guy's leg off. I wasn't even aiming for the leg. They just got that... Oop. Here's the, the ape-looking guys. Primals. This display, fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals, required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in pursuit of this of authenticity. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go well for them. But congrats, I guess. Hello, boring-ass fish. Saltuna. Salmonidae Silenus. In the ocean and rivers are the... In the heart of the veins of the Emerald Vale, then Saltuno is our highly profitable blood. Uh, these meaty fish live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating system. Saltuna are Salemparos, which means they perish after a single reproductive episode. <clears throat> That's when our trusty Spacer's Choice Harvesters scoop up their corpses to be cleaned, processed, and canned, and delivered straight into the dinner table. They just die after one mating incident. Yeah, that's a bummer. Is the idea... I wonder if that's true or not. Or if that's a weird attempt to make their, like, fish killing, like, seem extra humane. Which usually people don't have that much, uh, issue with fish. In particular. But I almost wonder, given how this company works. Including the fact that they're currently lying and putting not sal tuna in the cans. I can't help but wonder if, like, they're lying about the idea, like, Oh, wow, they just conveniently die on their own, and then you just cook them. We didn't do anything wrong here. Because it feels like when people talk about, like, what, is, what do people eat in the Pokemon universe? Because you wouldn't want to eat them, them to eat Pokemon, right? And then people say stuff about, like, Oh, yeah, there's just, like, Slowpoke Tails and Kingler Pincers just, like, fall off all the time. And somehow that, and that's, like, a weird... Weirdly enough of an explanation for some people and to just accept and it's like what the fuck that's not an energy efficient system at all There's no way that that's how they survive. Oh, these are the actual people that were here Hey little guy, please don't attack me. I don't like shooting you Hello. That was quick. Another first aid room key. I just keep finding those, apparently. Riot control armor. And maybe a better shotgun if I'm lucky. What do I got here? Uh, it's in the bottom right. 173. Oh, it's the same gun. Yep, it's the same gun. <clears throat> Just with, uh, it's just fully repaired, so I could switch to that if I need to. I end up in a bad situation repair-wise. Okay. Hey, little guy. You better run out while you got a chance. I'm gonna get you. So that's what it's like when a door is uh, when, a, when a door is barred. Like a very physical lock on the other side. Welcome, Director Plinkett. From Rosenberg. Subject: Key cards. Everyone, the key card encoder in the lobby is backed up and running. Running. Uh, hopefully, it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting key cards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can carry, uh, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your key card. From L. Trammell, please stop, Director Plinkett. I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development of the entire exhibit. This has to stop, Lamont Trammell, financial officer. From Hunters and Trackers Limited. Please stop. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Plinkett. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We read to inform you the entire team was, has perished. Please expect an invoice for, from our office, including the cost of their graveside fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. 
Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Sincerely, Hunters and Tracker Limited. Partner with Wildlife Eradication Society, a wholly owned subsidiary of Universe Defense Logistics. Hunters and Trackers Limited. Teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> why is it why is the subject please stop? I think that's a mistake. Like they copy pasted it from the other letter when they were writing the writing them and then didn't, didn't catch it. That's my guess. Because they goofed up. That doesn't seem to make sense otherwise. I'm gonna have a hell of a time telling where I am most of the time in this building. So they want the- oh. But are, is this the, f this is the room I fought my way through before? That must be an exit door? Do I have the key to this? Is anyone in there? Ollie Ollie Toxifree! I'm guessing that heals your toxicity. Various ingredients for evaluation. Abrasives, fluorides, sor uh, surfactant, uh, cur goddamn cursive. Who ate my lunch? Who the fuck ate my lunch? <laughs> That's an- why is it an old rusty container? This is a place that people are like, inhabiting still basically, aren't they? Experimental anthrocillin. That sounds important. Bones and gears don't mix. Worker injuries affect our bottom line. Use caution when operating heavy machinery, and for no other reason than because it hurts our bottom line. We care nothing for your soul. That was the cold, distressing thing about that previous... Dervish mist. That was the distressing thing about the previous message was the fact that they just didn't... This is just how coldly they described the fact that an entire squad had been eradicated. Those were all people who, like, were born and, like, lived into adulthood and were, like, raised and fed and loved by someone, presumably. And they all died against a, fa against a Manta Queen. And they're like, We regret to inform you they have all perished. Purchase another squad at a discount. Dur -dur -dur. Like, they're like, we better apologize to this guy, so he has a 10% discount on the next death squad that will die for him. Let's look at this, uh, riot control. Oh, it's only four? It's not great. Bonus to stealth skills. Low pressure, patch low pressure helmet lockpick armor. Or block. But 10 armor. Ordnance control. Eh. I mean, lockpick's better, but I could always switch to it for lockpicking, I guess. Although I'd have to remember... Which one it is. Ollie Ollie Toxifree! Also removes earwax, now with activated charcoal. I don't like how that's spelled like two words. Uh oh. What is it? What is charcoal? Dervish mist. Whirl till you hurl. Ooh. It's basically jet. This really is Fallout. It's got all the drugs in it. The drugs that I also never use in Fallout, either. <laughs> I was always kind of bad about that. I think I basically just did a quest. Before I found the quest. I was kind of just poking around, but yeah. Experimental Anthrocillin, a cache of experimental anthrocillin manufactured by Auntie Cleo, probably con contraband in Edgewater. Hmm, that's... It's, it's labeled as Quest, so it's gonna come up at some point. So someone's gonna tell me to go here at some point, but I was actually just like, kind of in explore mode. I just wanted to check out a place, because we spent like the last three hours, uh, talking to everybody in an entire town. And we're about to go to another settlement and talk to everybody there. So I wanted to make a stop along the way, and just kind of see the world. I can show you the world. Cause I'm in control of the game, and you aren't. 
<laughs> is there not a is there not a button that just lets you open something on the fly without having to find it in the menu? Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 1, a dense technical primer on the mechanical engineering published by Spacer's Choice. This volume describes the process of building a competing machine using electrodes and spectrum potatoes. Oh. Oh, that's Volume 1 and Volume 2. Go figure. Right, you can't like, you can't actually read these, huh? It's just referential. And maybe it comes up in some context. But, like, I'm the, I'm the guy, though. I'll totally read your books if they're actually books in the game. Give them to me. Give me your books. Hmm. Oh, oh. They still light up when they're empty. Give me little false alarms. Yeah, I think that's it. There's not a lot. There doesn't seem to be a lot upstairs. Nope. Nope, we can head on out. We've poked about enough. And it seems like me hacking that thing isn't going to be useful now. We've done plenty at this point. Servicing the Halcyon Company. Colony. Company. Eh. Those words don't really mean different things in this context. Hi. Can you fix my gun? I missed my previous gun. I liked that gun. I'm definitely going to have some incentive to pump up that act, that uh, combat skill. Because these guys are dangerous. But I also want just upgraded weapons and so on. To help me out. I was a little hesitant to run. I didn't know if anything might come out. What, everyone go to bed? Move along, stranger. Hi. Don't, want any trouble. don't worry. Oopsie, sorry. Uh, just wasting my resources here. Hi, don't mind me. I put my gun away. I don't, I don't have a hands up hotkey. Oh, that looks freaky. The trunks of those trees. The leaves almost look like feathers. Can we have a nice, polite talk? I don't know you. Yeah. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. What, just the one? Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You don't want to interrogate me, the person going into your place? Trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. 
Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. What a line. And less marauders got to her than parts of her could be in a lot of places. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Now, I'm the one asking questions. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Maybe the Marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers aplenty out there. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Any, ch any chance you could point me somewhere specific and not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Let's change the subject. What is it? I'll leave you be. And it just ends. A little while east. Is that where I just came from? No. Yeah, I came from the community center to the south. So over here is Marauders, but that's just a uh, Hail Mary that's not actually based on any evidence so far. So we're going to want to poke around a little better than that. Let's maybe do that first. <clears throat> Gives me a chance to get people to trust me before I go further on. Where is her room? A lot going on around here. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. I asked, like, one question. Like, about her dis- what the fuck? <laughs> Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Free markets. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Journaling. This sounds like it might almost be a parody of, like, the usual found document quests where people keep writing everything that's happening in their life almost to a fault. Where we're gonna find- we're gonna go after and find a bunch of documents that she's left. Hold on, there was something else. Hey, I got time. What are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Oh, it's all the meat. Right. Well, I've also got meat. Mmm. Mr. Ouch. Oh. I've got a 6% discount. 
And so many options. Definitely have a lot of the same thing repeating at the very least. Please, fix my shit. Or I'm going to get murdered out there. It's kind of important. There we go. Hey, Chicky. There's a talk prompt, but it just goes away when you press it. Chicky, Chicky. They keep talking about her obsession with that particular media, so I'm thinking that she might have found some kind of collectible or some other piece of evidence about the, the uh, media she loves so much about free market capitalism. And then maybe she went out there and got stranded going out for it. She's apparently not one for scavenging, but she did probably leave on her own to do whatever happened. Oh, I take it this is her room, and that's the place he works in. Here's my journaling, alright. It's always journal, page 12. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery. I don't think I'll ever have to look back on this journal for many years hence and tell myself, Oh wow! I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving one's, by one's own bootstrap? What by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time, and suddenly you're committing larceny. So she got sick, and their society doesn't value them at that point, and so she had to self-medicate because she's not allowed to get actual medications. Page 22. Well, today is the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny in your own hands. I've been listening to you, Grace, talk about the Marauder Threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills. Warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of Saltuna. Should last me a couple weeks if I ration. Got some Adria time too, everybody loves Adria time, even marauders, right? I got... Uh I got odds uh, those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of marauders at my back. At beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. Oh no. Oh no. She walked right into the, the bandits, maybe inspired by her stories and thought that she could actually do something with this, and it would actually lead to, like, her epic uprising. There's the poster. Terror on Monarch. Twelve remaining episodes. With Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. Spencer Woolrich as Chief of the Savages, featuring real monsters from the doomed world. <clears throat> There's a story about a woman that goes out and probably, yeah, meets up with the Chief of the Savages and elopes. Mine. I need this his, uh, his research to find where she gone. Only two documents, huh? Three. Page 18. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better, too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food, or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. 
Tastes atrocious, but, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an ether wave, so I've been catching up my on my serial dramas. Masked marketeer? <laughs> what would I do without you? Masked ma marketeer? Go crazy, most likely. Cra uh, crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming to the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know, that doesn't sound too bad. I can see myself leading a cadre of marauders. A band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits. What do we call ourselves? The Formidable Fourteen. The Hundred Hooligans, featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen. Zoe, you fool. Also, she, 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 got, she got bored fast. Day 12 of her diary, she had to leave because she got sick and, and stole drugs. Then only six days later, she's like, oh, I'm getting better from the from the sickness now. And then four days later, she's like, I'm going to go suicide my way into the bandits. She had four days of being healthy where she went straight off and was like, oh, I'm bored with this life. I'm out of here. They were even nice enough to give you a place to stay. Huh. She really wanted the no rules lifestyle. Oh, God damn it! I keep reflexively hitting F to put away my gun. I don't know why. Some sort of muscle memory that's screwing with me. And I can't seem to get over it. Uh, so that's bad. Yep. Yep. Turns out our guard out front was immediately right. She pointed us in the exact right direction from the get-go. This bundle of crazy just thought she'd introduce herself to the uh, Marauders. No idea if she'll be alive. Ooh. Got a little closer than I should have. Good. Ow. Stop it. Did I just miss? Really? God damn it. Got him. That's better. Could have gone better, but I got there. Got there eventually. Did you melt? Holy crap. Right, I gave you an energy weapon, didn't I? He turned that body into ash. There's a lot of really recognizably Fallout New Vegas-y things going on here. Like to the point where it's like almost a little beyond homage and kind of like kind of directly using another IP detail for detail like that's a that's a really overt cosmetic thing I'm like energy weapons turn people into a little pile of ash I'm like all right and then there's the bloody mess the bloody mess perk that happens every now and then where I shoot somebody with a shotgun and all their body parts fly everywhere I'm like hang on a minute I get you guys got to do a fallout game and also, maybe some of you made the original Fallout games. Depending on how long you were at the comp with that particular company. But... <laughs> this is like, really direct. There's something a little shameless about it. Is that like a... An octopus of... Basalt columns? What the fuck? Do I hear a... Where is it? I hear an animal. Primal behemoth right there. Alright. Well, I guess so.
Oh no. Go, 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 Parvati. Oh no. Parvati. Okay. They scatter? What happened? Oh. We found Guillaume. Oh, I'm, in I'm encumbered. You cannot sprint or fast travel while encumbered. Hmm. I've been picking up too many items, as you do in these games. Uh, break down. I'm not really planning on meleeing people. The shock cannon. That's certainly a thing. Yeah, I do have too many things. Their collective weight is a problem. Hopefully now these are particularly important. Ooh. Bonus heavy we weapons minus stealth skills. Not amazing, but that's some great armor. It's a bit tempting for that, because I take some big hits. Jesus. That's one way to get a little bit worse at stealth. Well, I didn't really mean to do that. I guess I'm a little curious now. Uh, was there dialogue with that character? Did I screw up? <laughs> I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. I just saw more more of the marauders like always, so I fought them. Yeah, they're labeled as marauders, so I have no reason to think that they're going to be non-hostile. They've always been hostile. Got him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no 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 <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was very bad. <laughs> uh, what is this? Yes button? E. There you go. So I got the bonus experience thing. Hi. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
more base health would make sense. Tactical time dilation meter max is, makes sense. I'm not, I'm not going to be alone. Companion crit chance, increased durability. We'll reduce loss, which is basically increased durability. Plus five armor no matter what's not bad. Let's go for that armor rating. Resilient. You have a base armor rating, which adds to the... Th yeah. That's all it says. I was looking for some flavor text, but there actually isn't any. Oh my god. That went very poorly. So don't... Act don't retreat in that direction. Fuck me. Okay, don't retreat in any direction. This entire fucking area is covered in bad things. My god. I I was actually feeling kind of on top of things, to be honest. Like, I was like, look at me with those weapon rotations, and I'm like, I'm using certain guns for certain people, and like, I'm controlling the group, and I'm crowd controlling a bit by inflicting blindness on certain people, while then switching back to the hounds, and I was pacing backwards. I was like, I kind of felt like I was in the zone a little bit. <laughs> then I got beat my- I got my ass beat by giant surprise elemental ape monster that I did not realize was there. I, I- I retreated in the wrong direction. What a distressingly dense environment. Where is Pravati? There you are. Zoe's right there. Hi there. God, I'm bad at aiming at this range, apparently. Uh-oh. Wow, you were hauling ass out there, huh? Not even gonna try to stay local. It's cool, we're a team! <laughs> oh boy. Don't worry, Zoe, we're coming. You idiot. You did this. This is your fault. The heck is this? Mechanical Sentry. I was kinda hoping I could revive it or something. Shiny Servo. The servo, taken from an auto-mechanical, appears nearly brand new. The servo appears bright and shiny as if it were brand new or recently well cleaned. You'd be proud to let it fulfill any of your servo-related needs. Cool, I guess. Good for you. I'll be proud to sell it, probably. Uh, well, I'll, I'll probably learn a use for servos and be like, Oh, cool, I'm glad I have that. Uh, the same armor I already have. <laughs> I guess maybe I can sell it. Or something else. What? Oh. I clicked on the chest. It probably wants me to put stuff in it. That's the deposit items screen. Are we good? Did I actually clear things out? Wait, Zoe. Boy, it sure is lucky you didn't just come straight at me. When everyone else was. That would have been awkward. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You sound confused, or possibly unscrewed. Only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. That's literally not possible if you had half my skills. That would make me the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. You haven't thought, you don't know how math works, do you? I need to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. 
I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Do you even have more marauders to be with here? At this point? You should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Stefan's planning to surprise you with an episode of your favorite serial. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of The Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Take care. Why didn't you say so? I, I did. I, I just, I just, I just did. That's the words that came out of my face. That's why you know the thing. Well, that was a thing. She's just standing here. Everything's, I don't know, everything's fine is not the, the, the right word for this, but she is just standing here. She's planning on staying here with who? I killed everyone, didn't I? Am I wrong about that? Because I feel like I'm right about that. Evicted. A lot of these doors can't be opened, it looks like. Anybody home? I'm not exactly going to be worried about running out of ammo, am I? Why would she have- what natural charm? I kind of have trouble believing that she got exactly what she wanted and just was like, I'm just going to become queen of the Marauders, and then she just became the queen of the Marauders. So if everyone loves her so much, I'm thinking it's because of the fact that she brought drugs with her. She's like, alright, cool. <laughs> As opposed to the idea that she just magically came in and like within a day had like charmed her way into like having everyone wrapped around her finger in the entire camp. Frankly, a woman just kind of wandering out like a an, an uh, like an unhardened, like naive, like media nerd woman just wandering out to a camp of marauders sounds like it could end in a number of really distressing ways. And she didn't seem to be considering any of those possibilities. And then it just worked out, which is weird. Maybe we're going to find out the marauders are actually super laid back and chill. Except that'd be really- that's hard to reconcile with the fact that they, uh, always attack me on sight with dogs and bullets. We're not exactly, like, just chilling out. Oh, God. I got myself again. Careful. We have to be very careful, Havadi. This place is full of scary bombs. I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Damn. The fun times barrel. 25% bonus crit damage. Nightingale step. Reduced volume of footsteps. Extra sneak. Oh right, I'm, I'm once again encumbered. Mm. As you do. Not gonna lie, this is just like a giant 
nightmare screen. I have to sort through at some point. That was all I needed to get unencumbered, though. Oh, this armor's heavy enough and custom enough that I may want to get that shit sold. I might get lucky with that. Hmm. Locked. Can I do anything about that? Maybe not. Not so lucky this time. Alright. Well, maybe they'll be big fans of me now that I've dealt with one of their local problems. You know? That's one way to ingratiate yourself to the local faction. Right? Big friends now? And also, let's never attract the attention of primals ever again. They're scary. Especially when they're behind you and you don't know. That's especially scary. Well, you're welcome. Now you can stop having setting your sights on me. What is it? I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. I'll leave you be. Sounds like we might want to keep you in mind for later. My reputation's changed. If reputations are if enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't kill on sight, then it went away before I could finish reading it. J okay. Codex. Reputation, the basics. Exploration, loot, skill, skills and reputation. If enemies are hostile but your reputation isn't kill on sight, leaving for a few days will calm things down. The people of Halcyon have short memories. Huh, that's all they specify. If you become hostile but not kill on sight, then you can just come back. And where are those reputations? Oh, there it is. Agreeable with the deserters. Oh, there we go. 48% per uh, positive. 0% negative. Anybody else have thoughts about me yet? Not yet? Interesting. There are five primary factions in this game, and Spacer's Choice and the Deserters are not primary factions. Neither of them are. That's interesting. The Deserters are a community of disillusioned workers who left the town of Edgewater. They live together in a makeshift camp located at the Botanical Lab, district of Emerald Vale. Faction effects. You are friendly with this faction. Vendor prices reduced 5%. A good employee in the making. Spacer's choice, neutral. It's too either it's too early to tell whether this employee is competent or not. Spacer's choice is the favorite brand for colonists on a budget. The town of Edgewater and the region of Emerald Vale are properties of the Spacer's Choice Company. You are neutral. They can they contextualize you primarily as an employee. Hmm. That's a lot of positive reputation I've already got with these guys. That's a surprise. That was quick. But it works as intended. This also kind of felt like it was an important place, like, because it's the only story I have so far, besides my poor dying colonists, I guess. Although this place isn't especially huge, I guess, this this map. And I guess this might be the entire planet that you get to hang out in. Because I think you planet hop in this game. So I guess this probably is just a little intro area that doesn't have a lot of a larger context to the story. 
like a megaton, basically. Might be what they're going for to some extent. Well, she's back. How'd that turn out? Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. And I can't respond to that, apparently. All right. I guess we're just going to have to believe her then. Is she in here? There she is. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Because her heart, their heart came out? Hey. Hey. Her hands clipped through the desk. Oh, she's clipping through the chair. That's why she's clipping through the desk. Huh, you can't talk to either of them about what happened, really. You just get that one throwaway line. Well, that's that. Try not to have that thing where you murder everyone that you wrote about. That'd be unfortunate for me. 